Alright people, we have a new Seattle Seahawk coming in. Uh, the last couple days have been interesting. You know, we lost Rocky Bernard, which again was, you know, it is what it is. We weren't really making any big splashes. I know we signed Colin Cole, but it's hard to get excited about him because really nobody knows who he is. But we did make our big splash. And for those of you who don't know, TJ Hushmanzada is coming to Seattle to put on to put on the blue jersey of the Seahawks and be with our team for I believe next four or five years. He got a nice big sized contract actually. I read we actually offered him like ten million more than Minnesota because it was us, it was Minnesota, it was Cincinnati. So we offered a lot more money than everyone else. Now I know earlier on I said I didn't really want Hushmanzada and let me justify that. Let me explain why I said that. I didn't want Hushmanzada because I did want Michael Crabtree. I still would want Michael Crabtree. And now that we've signed Hushmanzada, it doesn't look like that's going to happen, which is disappointing to me because I look at Michael Crabtree and I see a guy who could become the next Andre Johnson. That's who he reminds me of. He's just a little slower, but I don't really care so much about that. So, you know, I looked at Crabtree and I saw that's the guy I want and now it's not going to happen that's why I didn't want to sign Hoosmanzada that's why I didn't want to trade for Anquan Bolden that's why I didn't want to do this or that in terms of wide receivers now that we have him you know I still think the same thing I, I'm still down over what now will become a clear it's pretty obvious that we're not going to take Michael Crabtree with our fourth overall pick and I'm still a little down about that, but, you know, I don't, I'm not mad, I'm not pissed off at the front office for this, not, not at all, <clears throat> it's not, <clears throat> it's not like that, it's, <clears throat> when I heard this, uh, today, I wasn't jumping up and down in my seat, <clears throat> like you might expect me to when we sign a big name player like TJ Hushmanzada, but I wasn't mad or anything either, and there's really no reason for us to get mad, because... Hushman Zada, we're 90% sure, is going to be a big-time player for us. <clears throat> the only thing that concerns me is there were times when he was not, most of the time he was not the number one option in Cincinnati. You can look at the numbers all you want, but Chad Johnson was a better receiver than TJ Hushman Zada throughout the entire time they were there, except for last year because Hushman, uh, Chad Johnson or Ocho Cinco or whatever had the screwed-up shoulder. However, you have Michael Crabtree, who is... 50-50. 50% chance he becomes Andre Johnson, 50% chance he becomes Mike Williams. <clears throat> so I feel safer with Hushman Zada. I think the ceiling is much high on, higher on Crabtree. I think Crabtree can become a better receiver, and I think he can be a better receiver for a much longer time, obviously. That's another thing. Hushman Zada is 32 years old. That's what bugs me. He's this is probably the last contract he's ever going to sign, so by the time he's out of this contract, he's going to be 36, 37, which, you know, I can live with. He's probably not going to decline, like, immediately or anything, but I don't know. I would have wanted, I wanted Crabtree a little more than I did Hushman Zada, but, you know, we did something. I like to see this front office move in, doing something significant, not just giving up, so we made a big splash. <coughs> and we have a number one receiver <coughs> you can go look at the numbers in Cincinnati he most years he caught a lot of passes um, you know that was his mantra he would catch a lot of passes not so much long stuff he wasn't a great deep threat this last year he had 92 catches but he barely broke 900 yards so He's not a big yard-after-the-catch guy. He'll just make a lot of catches, kind of like a Wes Welker type. I think he can be a number one receiver. I, I think, but I'm not positive. I know Chad Johnson can be a number one. I know there are a lot of receivers out there that I know can fill that number one role. I don't know if Houston Zotta can do that. Maybe he's a really good number two, and in which case, maybe we should get Crabtree anyway. But, you know, I'm excited. I'm happy he's here. 
Uh, looking at the numbers, you know, he broke out in 2004, had back-to-back -back very close to 1,000-yard seasons, and then in 06 and 07, he had 1,000-yard seasons, 12 touchdowns in 07 this last year. He w probably would have broken 1,000 yards if he had a better quarterback and if he played all 16 games, he only played 15, but <coughs> it, it, it looks good. You know, he's a great receiver. He's a pro bowler. Definitely a quality guy. I'm happy to have him. And five years from now, if I look at around the league and Michael Crabtree went to Oakland or Jacksonville and ended up being a bust, I'm going to breathe a sigh of relief. But if he becomes the player that I think he will, I'll wonder what could have been. But for now, we're just going to support uh, this signing because he's a great player. I got nothing against him. I just hope things work out. So I'll talk more about stuff later. See ya.